So for today, we're going to be looking at seasonal challenges plus Eververse. I'm going to combine them into two because that's what I usually do. And because honestly, it's just easier this way. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. But other than that, let's get into it. So for the first one, more than a weapon, complete week two of more than a weapon. This is literally the story quest. Uh, not hard at all, unless you're watching this like weeks later, which is weird. But if you are, then this actually still won't be hard because You'll, you'll still have to catch up, but it doesn't matter. E either way, just do week two and you'll be fine. Heist Battlegrounds 2 and Heist Battleground playlist. Complete heist and defeat Death Tongue Choristophers. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the assholes that are really like, like meaty that uh, actually, I don't know. I want to say it's the, it's the acolyte that like is really beefy and takes forever to kill. I'm going to assume it's that one or it's some other enemy or it could just be a new enemy that we haven't seen yet so um yeah we'll see i can't really tell you too much about this because i haven't done a heist yet this week because the reset just happened right now fire in the void defeat combatants with void or solar damage in heist battlegrounds uh not hard at all just uh, while you're trying to complete heist battlegrounds too you might as well just be using either a void subclass or a solar subclass with a void weapon or a solar weapon either way this one's not gonna be too hard umbral focusing focus a season of seraph ingram at the exo frame in the helm um this one's not hard especially if you are making sure you're picking up the right um uh, exo frame modules and whatnot but this one's super super easy you're just gonna have to i mean we also got an extra two this week which i will be doing this shortly I will be posting week two story stuff after this video, hopefully. But yeah, these two are not that hard. This is not that hard. Cosmodrome activities in the Cosmodrome earn, pro or, ugh, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost actors. So the rule of thumb for me is I usually will pick up bounties and do public or I'm not public events, lost sectors. So I will be picking up bounties and lost sectors. And if there's an easy patrol, like usually the just kill everything then I'll do a patrol, but I ignore public events, even though they do give a lot of uh, progress. I just think lost sectors are just much more faster. That being said, Cosmodrome does have really long lost sectors, but they're also not super duper long, especially if you get the right ones. Uh, we'll look at the lost sectors just to show you which ones you should ignore and which ones you should do. Um, lost in the legend completely lost sector and legend or higher i don't know why they gave us this because we don't have new exotics but i mean whatever pop off not hard just do a lost sector and legend obviously you can wait for the easiest one to pop up i'm usually going to do it whichever one it rolls up because they're not really that hard it's just more just annoying bank kill repeat earn points by banking modes defeating blockers and defeating guardians and gambit so we do have a reputation boost for gambit right now so it is recommended to, th to do this because you do you'll get a lot more rep from it but that being said i do know people hate gambit with a passion uh, mid-range calibration calibrate mid-range weapons hand cannons glaives glaives are not mid-range but okay auto rifles fusion rifles machine guns in the cosmodrome bonus progress for, def for rapidly defeating combatants uh, I would be using a hand cannon and fusion rifle and a machine gun, most likely. This one's not too hard. I would actually be doing this one in combination with Cosmodrome activities or Fire in the Void uh, because you would be completing Heist Battlegrounds 2, Fire in the Void, and mid range calibrations all in one go. Uh, Freezing Void, defeat, gar defeat Guardians bonus progress is granted for, or, ugh, for opponents defeated with Void or Stasis effects um yeah this is not hard at all either uh especially with stasis being pretty wild still in my opinion i mean it's not like it used to be but it's still pretty good and obviously you could be using stasis weapons or void weapons as well void is also really good uh, especially if you get like warlock titan hunter even but there's their only good super in my opinion is the blades and even then that's super super duper long to get so I don't know, this one's still easy, but it's going to be annoying on Hunter for sure. Uh, the Fallen Fall. Defeat Fallen Combatants in Vanguard Playlist or Strikes. Earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. Yeah, just do Vanguard Playlist. It's not that hard. Uh, if We'll look at the Nightfall to see if... Actually, that's it. Let's actually go look at the Nightfall real quick. So that way we can see if we can do it in the Nightfall or not. 
It is. Oh, it's in the moon. Unfortunately, we will not be able to do it on the moon. So you, your best bet would be to do the Vanguard Ops, which, I mean, I know it's super duper boring and they really should have a fucking heroic where we get bonus rewards and stuff, but whatever. Cosmodrome real quick. I would immediately ignore this one. Uh, Velis Labyrinth is, it's not a bad, it's not a bad uh, loss sector. It's just, they changed it. So now you actually have to think and for me, I just don't want to do it just because it takes too long to find all of the symbols and whatnot. If I ran it a lot, a lot, then I would kind of like immediately remember where all of them are, but I don't want to do that. Um, the exit is Guardian 2A. I would probably do easily. This one's like probably the fastest one because all you have to do is just kill, then go to the next area, kill, then go to the next area and kill and go to the next area. I think that's it. There's only two here. Really? I thought there was more. Oh, well. So yeah, I would do the other one, ignore the one in the ship, in the shipwreck. It's just, it just takes too long. So Eververse, let's talk about Eververse real quick. Um, very unfortunate. Let's, you know what? Let's do the stuff we usually do and then we'll look at the actual event stuff. So for the top stuff, we have a shader beneficence, which is just, it's Christmas colors. I'm probably going to ignore this shader. But the but the the idiot in me is like, what if you can use it later, later, dog? Like it's gonna be it's, again. I'm much I'm much of a I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it type of guy. So I'm probably gonna pick it up even though I know I'm gonna regret it. Snowy entrance. We have solo fist bump. We have baking cookies. I'm not gonna look at these. I donning is like the one event that I hate the most. Sweet entrance. We have compliance with the, which is just a shader change. It literally is just a shader change. Uh, Cyros Majoris, which is a ship, which I don't really care too much for. Uh, the Mirth Mobile. I would actually say you should pick this one up just because it's super small. Uh, if you don't have a small sparrow yet, the festive shell, which is the shell from this from this event. Like actually, this is new. Uh, we have snowshoes and then snowball fight and then more shitty stuff here for the shaders. We have Donnie tranquility, which actually looks pretty decent. Um, I never use it, but it looks cool. There is like a few Donnie shaders that actually do look really cool. This one is not one of them. I mean, colors look really boring to me. Donning fist, fist festiveness. This is actually a really good shader. Uh, I love the, the chrome and the blue looks really cool. Cloth could be a little bit better, but overall it's actually a pretty good shader. And then donning warmth, which I actually like this a lot. I love the maroon color with, in combination with the white and the like, uh, silver. I think this is, this is a good shader overall. Um, yeah, that's really it for Eververse, at least for the stuff that she's selling. Let's look at what they're selling for money. So obviously the donning event card for 10 bucks because obviously a whole season equates to just what amounts to shitty rewards from the event card because there is shitty rewards we'll look at it actually let's look at it right now so for the event card you get three things you get a shader which actually looks really cool kind of annoyed that they put a really cool shader for it but that's what they always do they have forward erebus which is just a sparrow that looks cool, but not, not $10 and like not $10. Cool. And then downhill ski ski. Yeah. Yeah. This is what you're, you're getting for 10 bucks. So, you know, you get all of that and then you get the chance to get all of this. And the fact that they give you a ghost projection and a transmit effect is just kind of like, but like, why though? Like, like why action figure showdown, which is okay. Yeah. So that's what you're getting for 10 bucks. Super duper cool. I guess, uh, or at least the three things I think is what you're getting. You have dying spirit box. So I'm gonna ignore. So here's the armor. We're not going to review the armor because I'm not going to get the armor. At least not this one. I, I don't even know if I'm getting any of the armor period to be quite honest with you. Because as you guys can see, I am missing a lot of the armor from previous seasons and expansions. Why you ask? Because 
I would get the Halloween armor and then I would not have enough bright dust to get the Christmas armor. So Christmas has always been the the event that I've always had to like sacrifice, even though like I think this looks super cool. I might actually get this. <sighs> yeah, I might actually just get this with bright dust and we'll see because it's like so much money. If you like for this is why I get mad at events, because as a new player coming in, you see an event come in and you see like, oh, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, so many or 15 bucks. And it's like, bro, like two of these armor sets, just two of these are 30 bucks. I don't think that's like, that's not worth it. Like, it's so terrible. It's such a terrible cost to the players, especially if like, for example, this is like this for my other classes as well. Like, again, Christmas has been the event where I could not get anything because a I'm not dude, I'm not willing to spend 15 bucks on armor here. I, I say this as I'm going to get the Assassin's Creed armor, but it's just it's it's terrible. I think it's super terrible. Um, I do think they really need to reduce the prices on Bright Dust and the paid uh page service as well like 15 bucks is way too much i think even 10 bucks would be like a tall order for me um because at the end of the day they could have just put this in the game but i know people are going to be like fudgy needs to make money somehow it's like yeah yeah, yeah. like the multi-million dollar billion dollar company needs to make money somehow even though they're already making like hand over fist but yeah yeah please please defend them more dog uh, we have more stuff that I just kind of get, I got soured already. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm going to apologize to you guys right now. I just, it really irks me because like for, for, for like most of the events, we don't get skins. We don't get any cool things that are outside of Eververse. It's always just like all of these armor sets that could be in the fucking game. We're just going to sell it to you because we know people are going to buy it because people don't want to do anything in game they just want to fucking buy stuff and it just pisses me off because we could have had that be behind some cool event and even then like these skins as shitty as they are could have been in the game like i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'm just kind of i'm kind of done trying to be nice about it like at the end of the day nothing's gonna change it's always gonna be like this like <laughs> the fact that they're selling both of these when they could have just been like, oh, we'll give you we'll give you like the arc armor for free. And then the the Assassin's Creed armor you can get weekly instead. They're like, no, I'll just sell you both. I don't know. I don't want to get super toxic about it, even though I know I'm not being toxic. I'm just being more like opinionated because I know each person has their own opinion on it. But it's just it gets very exhausting seeing armor like this. That's super, super cool. And you're, the game's like 15 bucks and like 15 bucks, bro. Especially when you main three characters, that's 45 fucking dollars just for one event. And that's not even including if you want like, oh, maybe I want an emote that costs fucking $12 or $10, or maybe I want this $7 skin. It's like, bro, like it is such a wild ask for me, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm not going to talk too much about this because you know what? At the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck. And honestly, I'm, I'm not going to make armor around this. Like mostly because it just out of spite. Like I just, I'm done caring about it. Like I said, I might get the dendrite stuff just because the dendrite stuff is probably the coolest stuff in the game. Um, like armor wise, I think it's just super, super cool on all the classes, but like, I can definitely sleep on the North light stuff, at least for the hunters. Like I might start picking some, some of these up, just like the ones that I really think are cool. But then I have, then I like, I, I go on, I end up thinking like, am I going to have enough for the arcs for the arcs or for the arc armor? Because I really want the arc armor for the sole fact that I want to make a video on it because I'm not going to make a video on the, on the dawning stuff. Like most of these are already over. So, I mean, at this point, I would just be, mm, I guess people, new people would want to see that video, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I have a bunch of content planned. I've, I know I say that all the time, but I really do. Uh, obviously I have all of the Hunter, uh, Warmind stuff. I do have, I'll just show you real quick in the collections. So for the seasons I have, 
I have the I'm working on the warlock right now, which is what I'm going to be trying to finish up today. So that way I can have a video out by tomorrow. Most likely T Titan's already done as well. Uh, the next armor I'm trying to work on is the warlock for the cowboy stuff because the hunter is almost done. I legitimately need, only need the cloak, which is the only piece I ever fucking wanted. And for the Titan, I think I need two pieces, three pieces. So the helmet, the boots and the, and the bond or the mark. So quite a bit of stuff that I'm going to be working on, but hopefully I can get this shit uh, by the end of the week. I have been farming the first and second encounter. Well, technically the first encounter would be the, the going up to the spire. I've been farming that because it does drop, uh, I think the gauntlets, the chest piece and the boots, at least that I got in the boots there. And then the helmet and the, and the mark, I'm just going to farm in the boss. So, uh, also the solo flaws I have been working on. There's just been so much I've been trying to work on. And like, I technically had an emergency this past weekend, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I'm going to have, a, um, probably, probably the story mission will probably go up right after this one. If not like a few hours after, because the story mission is pretty simple. It's not nothing too crazy. So yeah, be safe and I'll see you guys later.